Sanctuary RPG is an... I, I guess the best way to describe it is an ASCII art... Uh, dungeon crawling roguelike RPG. Hmm. You can see I've played the game a fair bit. Hmm. But I've also got rid of all my save files. Druid. Druid, eh? You are a druid and enjoy copious amounts of intelligence and vitality. Embracing your inner beast, you take pride in your survival skills. Your animal transformations are beauty, lots of purring and growling. Other beastly things, potato mashing, communing, and large bears. This game has a thing for potatoes. I don't... Do you want to have a look at... I think at the, the guy just potatoes. Do you, do you want to have a look at another class description? Sure. I think they're there. Yep. Mm. Hint, my favorite's the ranger. Okay, look at the ranger. <laughs> you are a ranger and enjoy copious amounts of dexterity. There's nothing more sensual than an archer waiting in the woods. You're pretty big at the penetrating enemies with sharp objects. The last few people you sniped died incredibly happy, you're sure. <laughs> now, you notice the green text is the thing you have to enter at the bottom here. Like, you could li it it's like a command line, right? Like, I'd type X to do that command, and then I hit enter. No pain, no Why gain. Why is that potatoes? I don't know. No, yeah, I was about to read that. No gain, no pain. This also applies to potatoes, sometimes bears. Potatoes can take it, I guess. Yeah. I always choose the extra thick potato skins, always. <laughs> I like to mark my potatoes before I devour them whole. Mark them? Oh, baby. Character name! I suppose it'd be wise, because we're playing as you, hey? Yes. The use. You want the use? Yes. I have the smiling. Alright. That's you. F to finalize. Okay. Wait, is this who we are? These are one of the three races we can pick. Oh, so if we can move this. Mm. The races are based on which area we pick, so four has these three races. Whereas, like, one has these three different races. And then, of course, there's this. Uh. I mean, it depends what it's fun or not, because sometimes for games me, are pretty could be. For me, I absolutely love classic. I know the death is permanent thing is like you know, can be scary. We'll go classic then. But that's just how I enjoy playing the game. Play interest cinematic, absolutely. Enter Cyrus the Magnificent. He <laughs> definitely looks magnificent. Yes, that's his actual name. Why don't we take? The sword. Because she got to it first. Or what if we steal it from her? No one knows what became of Cyrus. Not a trace of him remains. Oh, that's sad. Except us. We're Cyrus. We're born. <laughs> yada yada. <laughs> Don't be mean to this one. This one's a good game. Your name is Weiss. You are a druid of Slytherin descent. You were born with a third arm. You eventually had it amputated. Raised by two mentally challenged octopi, your childhood was ruined. Hooking, on, hooking up with a two-headed lizard man has been your biggest regret. Want to be quick with a joke or to light up a smoke? You're a, you're a, hit, you're a hit at the bar. An hour ago, you baked a fresh peach and cobbler and smiled. A strange smell lulls you to sleep. You slowly lose consciousness. Suddenly, you find yourself completely naked. A woman approaches. Unsure if the woman is armed or not, you start feeling for her arms. This is your story. Wait, why would you start feeling for it? Armed is in the literal sense. If she has arms or not. <laughs> Unknown stranger. This isn't you, despite the fact that it looks almost identical to you. Look, a loot crate. So you got a hammer. Yes, it's better than nothing. Well, that is true. And this is the game. 
you <laughs> can look at your character sheet by pressing C and having a have a look at all these kinds of things, right? Got some mastery points to spend. So those are the different types of weapons that we can get. You have a campground, which you can access at any time. Yeah. Even though you'll be moving across like country and islands and stuff like that, you're always returned to the same campground. You take it with you in the pocket dimension. Yep. We've got some wood so we can build an epic crafting table. Do it. This chick's still here. Oh, actually, this is a different chick. I'm a ghost milker. <laughs> I like Joanna, though. Sounds very homely. Ah. <laughs> But yeah. I like complimenting this person because they can't compliment me back. Uh, but yeah, so let's hit one to go to walk towards our quest. Oh no! A slim! Attack it. So, those numbered skills there, right? Slash, rapid lunge, whatever, whatever, right? Uh -huh. They all take a certain amount of MP and HP and do a percentage of attack, yeah? So, hmm. what do you want to do? Hmm... Rapid lunge. Rapid lunge. Eighty-one damage. Well, yep. and he just hits you for six. Yep, but you notice you lost a bunch of health from doing it because it costs health. Oh. And now some of the other ones have changed, right? Like that link, the one of them has become a linker. The top one. Do the linker. Yeah, linker. And now another one's become a linker. Yep. And now it's become a finisher, yeah? Yep, finisher slime. That's sort of how this game works. Depending on which starter you pick will affect the other linkers. I don't fully get the game myself, honestly. I don't get it either. Listen close, my name is Diane. Take the grassy road to the north. The matron must be stopped at all costs. Good luck, Weiss. You've shattered the blue slime. Item drop! Okay. New charm, yeah? One defense, six intelligence, six strength. That's alright. Equip it. You leveled up! You have four stat points to spend. Hmm. The character likes lots of strength and intelligence. Remember that's what it said? Me. Where do you think we should put it? Wisdom. <laughs> Alright. All four points? No. Just one point? Just two. Or one. And right then... now we're using a mace and more, so I guess blunt. So, the idea is that when we put these into weapon master, is that weapon type is always going to be good, so like... Do we always want to be using a mace slash maul, right? Well, it's hard because you could put, like, say, we're like a druid or well, let's put it in wand and staff, and then we might never get it for a while. You're right. So, you thinking just putting it into this one and sticking with what we've got until we get a better one of those? I think so. Okay. What do you think? What's I would. Put it into one weapon, but I wouldn't necessarily put it into the weapon I've got. Like, I like swords, so I would often put it in swords, but I also play melee heavy characters. Yeah. <clears throat> All we have is fine. Yeah. That way it'll be easier, because we won't die early on. Yeah. This game has, like, Diablo esque modifiers on enemies, so, like, this one's a healthy and he charges a lot. Etc. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So I get that. 
like they have slight modifiers so that every single enemy is a little bit unique. That's a game I need to play, is Diablo. I played Diablo. All of them. Pre was the last one I played. Alright, so... Do it. Yeah, well, I already did it. So like... Oh, he... we both criticaled each other. How interesting. There we go. You got you poisoned. Oh, you got him poisoned. He got me poisoned. Make sure to heal yourself every now and then. Oh, he's preparing to charge, see? So if I just let him hit me, if I reposition, the charge does next to no damage. Uh oh. Things can happen very quickly, if you haven't noticed. I'm having a lot of tr He's healing! Ah! Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, see, I couldn't reposition from that charge. Oh boy. Hyper trampled. <laughs> now you're wounded as well, so you're like. Now oh no, that's healed now. Yep. You healed yourself from the oh. terrible curse. For a breathtaking pummel. See, but I just dodged it, so fight me. It's breathtaking, though. There we go, I got, rid really of, I got rid of my bloody poison. Ugh, finally! That was a really difficult first fight. <laughs> you get a lot of XP though, don't you? Maybe... Item drop. An axe. It's like 12 more damage. But it's not... Was axe for punt? No, it's mason maul. It wasn't part of it. Then... No. Because it would probably be doing more damage anyway. Maybe. This is literally like... A hundred and third... A thousand three hundred percent better. Like, I know that's a weird way to exasperate, exasperate it. It's literally 13 times as good with stats. Like, it's 13 attack and we've got one. So maybe oh, we should we take it? we can still have it, because it's yeah. still early. Yeah. I'm thinking we should take it. Salvage the old one and we got some scrap metal. We leveled up! Hey there, welcome to West Haven. The name's Blacksmith. Normal potato. We've Have you noticed we've already got an umbral potato? Yeah, we've gotten a really good sword. Uh, axe. Yeah. That's not a very good premium weapon, to be fair. It's barely better than their current one. Yeah. Our, our one's fine. This one looks terrible. I support your decision. Our goal is to open gate 17 and defeat the terminal, right? So, if we go to 2, we'll continue that goal, but we can also ex continue exploring in 1 to fight enemies that are level 1 to 5, or do random events like this. Shall we do Valley Exploration? Yes. Alright, so see? Now we've got these six areas to explore, so... You've stumbled upon an item! Some armor, we didn't have any. Number two! That's good. Stumbled upon an item! A shield, we didn't have one. Number three! <laughs> an, an event, I thought this said enemy. A sign says Big Blue River Crossing. Crossing, sorry. Attempt to ford the river, cork wagon, and float, acro float it across. Wait to see if conditions approve or sneak away. What are we doing, Bun? Is the river an enemy? It's an event. I don't Do know. we sneak away from the enemy? It's an ev it's a it's an ev Oh, the most stupid option always wins. So go with this two. With number oh, three. Three sounds even more stupid. Three. While waiting, you almost died of dysentery. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Look at your health. Your health is one out of seven hundred and ninety. An event. 
What appears to be a book is on the ground. Read, step, slice, or slip away. Read it. It's a book. You read the book, but you get a mild headache while reading. Ah, oh, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ugh, oh, I'm didn't oh skeleton's preparing the charge. Uh Do you wanna spend a hundred iron to assemble a weapon? Sure, we might get something good. We might. A wand. Why didn't I pick a wand? We got it! <laughs> the terminal awaits you. Beep boop, beep boop. I will terminate you. So, bosses generally have a special... Uh, mechanic. So this one has the lock meter. Yeah. We don't want it to. Yeah, so over there on the right, it says L for- Oh, pardon me. And it'll continue going L-O-C-K. Oh. So if you reposition twice, you cancel your combo. Yeah, make sure you don't do that. Like, yeah. make sure you keep repositioning every two or three times. That's a good way to do it, yes. Only one instances of Master Rake detected. Lock on speed upgraded. So this is like... He's getting more powerful, obviously. There we go. Beep boop. My internal circuit's on fire. Where was me? So he's nearly down. <laughs> oh, there we go. See, I've got all the arrows full and now it's, and now it's like aqua. And I've got Feral Rage, see? Do it. So now the whole thing sort of changes. Is this a glitch, actually? That was odd. I wonder if that was a glitch. I am free where? I wonder he was bad then. You sift through the wreckage. What is this? What does this machine come from? Not enough having asses, blah blah blah. This robot was built in the city of Kaldora. Really? How did you know that? <laughs> A soul shard. Not sure what that is for. Upgrading. Well. A staff, which does more damage. Yep. A lot. So we're getting wands and stuff, so no. Yeah, I noticed that. Now that we've got access to the town, we have all this crap to do, see? Look at all this. This is Sanctuary RPG. It's the fun as fuck game. I love it. Also, obviously you can't hear it now because of Discord screen sharing, but the music is really pretty. What do you think of it? That's alright. I'd say team and all that. Potatoes.